You're listening to Lunch with the Finance Bunch, bringing money talk you can understand. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Lunch with the Finance Bunch. I'm your host, Ms. Charlene, and I have my co-host, DJ Bander, over there. How you doing? Hello, hello. We doing good. We got the big guy in the building, Savvy. Let's go. Ooh, we excited. Hi, Savvy. What's going on, peoples? Happy to be here. Ooh, you know what? I want to just talk a little bit about you. You know, give you the proper intro. Okay. Yeah, so this is Savvy the Amusing. He is a fast-growing Instagram phenomenon. Dope. A comedian, impressionist, influencer, and business owner. Mm-hmm. With over 250,000 followers on Instagram. Yeah, my man's got numbers. He is Dope. iconic with his videos using voiceovers for rappers, athletes, politicians, and sports coaches has drawn the attention of major media outlets such as ESPN, NBA players, and major actors such as Michael Blackson. Savvy has grown a promotion business on Instagram where he promotes a variety of businesses from cannabis brands to sports betting companies with his unique ties into his video in a streaming way. Savvy is so wonderful to have you on the well show. Said. That was dope. I, I love that intro. I'm going to need to bring you when I'm performing so you can say that exact intro well, we I love you, it. before I walk on the stage. That was dope. <laughs> you know, it's a combination. <laughs> you know, me and DJ yeah. Bander, he's teaching me how to introduce people. Yeah. So I'm learning I mean, a that quick that bio on the team for Heck you. yeah. That Thank was dope. You. That was the best <laughs> introduction I've ever had. Dope. Oh, for sure. Good to hear. <laughs> Get so into it, Savvy. Let's so get into let's it. Get into it, guys. So, DJ Bender. Well, so I wanted to know originally because I saw you were, I thought originally East Coast and now you're in the West Coast. You'd be traveling. So, where are you based? Where are you from originally? Tell us about that. I'm right here, man. Right here in SoCal, okay. bro. Uh, South Central, born and raised, man. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. And uh, I, ironically, I have a huge following in New York. I don't uh, know how that happened. You know, um, I, I guess my city not behind me all the way yet. But New York, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. If you're listening, peace to NYC. Yeah, for sure. I yes, saw sir. that. I saw that they was definitely there for a while. Oh, well, yeah. you know what? We have we are New Yorkers, mm-hmm. and you definitely have that New oh, York swagger. Dope. Yeah, I think that's what I thought. That's what yeah. it is. That's what we thought you. Why we thought you were from the East Coast? You got really? that East Coast swagger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Is it the real, jacket? Man. That's the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be staying bundled. He got that East Coast flavor. Yeah, yeah exactly. Man, like, bundled. <laughs> <laughs> so where did, how did you decide what your stage name was going to be? You know, this is funny. And uh, I was asked this before and it was so funny. Well, when I, when I originally, when I originally started uh, doing the Instagram memes and the Instagram comedy, uh, my real name is Lorenzo. Mm. So okay. it didn't sound like a catchy enough name. So I said, I got to come up with something. Right. Uh, so I could kind of stand out. And not use my government name because it just didn't look right. So I, I didn't know what name I was going to use, man. Mm-hmm. And one day I was chilling and I was watching Pirates of the Caribbean part one. And uh, it was a scene where Johnny Depp tells uh, uh, one of the one of the other pirates, he says, son, I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Savvy. I said, what did he just say? Mm. Savvy. I said, man, I like that. I said, I'm going to use Savvy. And when I tried to use just Savvy alone, it was already taken. Mm. Okay. So I said, okay, we already have a hilarious. We already have a humorous. What's another word for that? Amusing. So I said, okay, I'm going to roll with Savvy the Amusing. That's fresh, that bro. Is. And, that that, is. and I was always wondering that. I was like, man, that was the cleverest name. So when you when you came up with that, this is what I've always been wondering. Because as I watch your career build, I've been like, so are you a stand-up guy that started going into the memes Instagram videos or did you flip it and be like, you know what? I'm good at these memes and these videos. I should do stand up. That's exact. That's the, that's the exact order. Interesting. I, I was, I felt like I was good at these memes in these uh, videos. I'm going to do stand up. And uh, originally I wanted to do stand up because I just wanted to see if I could make more people laugh than just my friends. You know, mm. it's yes. very, you could be considered the funniest guy to about five of your homeboys. Right. And you could get on the stage in front of 300 people and they're like, what is this dude talking about? Yes. <laughs> exactly. So I wanted to see. And I went up there, man, and I got the reaction I was looking for and been getting down ever since, man. Mm, I That's like it. Cool. Oh, yeah. Were you nervous at first? No. Uh, the only reason I was not, well, in a sense, I was nervous. 
Because like you said, you never know what flavor people are looking for. Then you got different age groups. You have people in between the ages of 19 through 30 that might think you're hilarious. Right. But you'll walk in, in the room and next thing you know, you look and somebody's in between the age of 45 and 60. You're like, uh-oh, I can't say this or I can't say that. Right. So <laughs> it's, it's difficult. So just being out there on the stage, I was comfortable within my craft, but I was nervous that my material would not make everyone laugh. Interesting. So that was the nervous part. Wow. So when did you officially get into the entertainment industry? What year was that? As far as uh, uh, what I do on Instagram or yes. stand up? and then stand up. First Instagram and then stand up. Okay. Uh, Instagram, I started on Instagram um, in 2013. Okay. And it started off uh, very slow for me because I was like one of the only people within my group of friends that were funny. And I started off having my little nephews and my nieces or whatever record videos for me. Yeah. And they got tired of it after a while. They're like, Uncle, I don't, I don't want to do that. So I found a way where I could reach widespread people without needing everybody to record me all the time. And I start finding these apps. The first app that I used was this app called Yak It. Okay. And it allows you to make people talk like little puppets and display voices. And when I started doing that, I said, okay, I'm good now. I'm a one-man show. Interesting. So That's I started cool. that. In 2013, and I just started stand-up comedy, uh, 2017. So I've only been doing stand-up comedy two years. Really? Yep, just two wow. years. And I was wondering, man, because I've been rocking you with you since like, I mean, way back. I don't know when you first started, but I think I was rocking since you had like 20k. Yeah, radio, man, since, yeah. since day one, bro. And I was always wondering, like, what app do you use to like to? How do you do the sound clips? I mean, I'm trying to give away your trade secrets. But oh you, no, you, no, but man. You, cause you do you cut it like like an audio? Do you use a sequencer? Are you like, I was like, man, this man is like like an engineer over here. He's <laughs> yeah, like an bro. Audio comedy slash engineer, bro. Just just like just like I was saying, man. Um, um, the unbelievable thing about it is I found out a way to make myself mobile. And uh, mm. with with making myself mobile, there's several apps that you have to download that would do this stuff for you. Got you. Uh, th there's there's one app that I use. The main app I use is uh it's called uh, Perfect Video. Mm. Within Perfect Video, it allows you to upload a video. It allows you to mute words. Interesting. And it allows you to turn your audio up and down. Basically, edit it right there in that app. You know. And, and that's that, so funny because a big part of like. What I always thought so brilliant about you is like, you know how to use like volume as a comic relief. Like, like you you use tone in a way. And I really respect that because like obviously I'm a producer and I'm a vocalist. So right. I'm always be like, he's thinking like three dimensional with this shit. Like he, right. he understands levels to like how to make, you know, what can be funny is not just what's said, but like the tone and the angle. So I love how you oh, flip yeah, that. Oh yeah, definitely. Thanks bro. Yeah, yeah that man. has a lot to do with everything, man. That's, yeah. that's what uh, makes me stand out at least an inch over the competition. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so impressed because you put up so many videos so quickly. Right, and right. And all of them are just so good. I was watching you last night and I was <laughs> laughing out loud, just just scrolling through your Instagram. Right. How do you do that? How do you make them so quickly? Well, um, my creative my creative mind is is insane. Like so, sometimes I'll obviously yeah, I mean <laughs> I'll see something. And my mind just automatically just thinks out the box, like, you know what? I think he wanted to say that, right. but he can't do it. And so... Man, the, and you are, you're an observant man. Oh, big And time. I know that because, like, oh, what's, yeah. what's so deep is, like, you have an expertise of both entertainment industry and sports. Oh, yeah. Right. And, like, he knows, like, I mean... All these coaches and players at athletes, and it's like I'll be like, damn, right. this dude would be like studying Sports Center. Study. Man. Do, do you read? Are you on? Are you? You must be like always following sports news. Bro, I, I got all the sports apps downloaded, so a lot of the times I can't watch it, but it'll pop up and I'll read it, and it'll say something, and I'll say, okay, I'm gonna read this, and I'll hold it in my head, and if I get a hold of a piece of footage. Mm. Uh Ah, it's that's all. It. That's all I need. You body that. That's it. You give me a piece of footage, I'll take care of the rest. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> but that's that how I do so it so cool. quickly. Yeah. Uh, I get a hold of that footage. Mm -hmm. I'll go somewhere in a quiet spot. I download that video, put it on that app you told me, and and, and it's that's it. Okay. So here I got another random question sabotage for you. from there. That's cool. I, one time I saw, I always was like curious about this. I was like, what is, what does he do for his grind? Because a lot of our people are like <laughs> really trying to understand, you know, monetizing 
art, monetizing entertainment. Yes. And, right. and there was the first time I saw you on your Instagram video, and I believe I saw you. You, you, you're a mailman. Yeah, man. And I was like, I, I was like, what? I was like, okay. And I, I, I saw you. You posted that's this. multiple streams of income, he, that's, everyone. He that's bro. multiple exactly. streams of income. I po I saw the story of him. He's outside of a mailbox having some jokes, and I was like, no. I was like, I, and I had so much respect that like. You put, you let people have a window into your real life. Oh yeah, like into this real grind. Yes. So, so tell us a little bit about that. Like, yeah, that. I give them a small window, man. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't dis, I don't display too much about it, man. You know, with all this government stuff going on, man. It, right. They mess around and get me fired before my chips is ready to say goodbye. I feel you. But, uh, but yeah, definitely, man. I like, I like to just show that piece of my uh, personal life every now and then, um, just to let people know that, hey, man, everybody out there. Don't got a hundred thousand dollars in cash, putting it up to their ears, or or or, or ten ten thousand dollar chains on their neck, man. Some people out here, although they're talented, still have a real grind. Mm -hmm. And I just try to show that piece of myself here and there to let you know, like, hey guys, I'm out here getting it, but yeah. I'm also getting it the nine to five way too. I love it. But you yes, know what? I, I love that because. A lot of people think they have to quit their day job right. and just go straight to it, and you don't. That's right. It's like we're trying to, especially on this show, we try to encourage multiple streams of income. That's right. So you hold on to every dollar that you can bring in. That's exactly. right. For as long as you can, you don't you don't have to give up one for the other until the other is working so well that you just can't do this one. That's right. You know, and it's way outpacing yeah, it. Because uh, a man once told me, he said, "Man, uh, one of the biggest arts to being a millionaire." Is having multiple incomes. That's right. That yep. job would never get it for you, man. It, it, you'll be okay. You'll make it. You'll pay your bills, but it ain't gonna make you rich. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to have multiple incomes, and That's I'm right. turning nothing down, man. Well, I love the I fact that you. you're using a natural talent that you have, right. and really bringing that to the forefront and uh, and causing it to create for you the income that you're anticipating. Absolutely. Because that's the easiest thing to do yes. is use what God gave you. Absolutely. You know, and just take that talent to the next level. And you've taken it five levels up. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I, I just wish I I wish I figured it out long ago. Mm. If I figured it out long ago, guys, I'd be a multimillionaire right now. Mm. I really do. I hate I, fit, I feel like figured it out so late. But, but do you think, I don't, I don't mean to cut you no, off. No, 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 But do ahead. you think it's, it's that you just got the courage to step out with your talent, but it was always there. Because I think for our listeners, a lot of times they'll have the talent and they'll sit on it. Right. And they'll go, oh, I would be so good at this. Oh, man, if mm. I could just, oh. Right. And then they just don't do it. Right. And then you just kind of, you know, not jumping in. Is is that the case for you? That's part of it. Uh, one part was I didn't have the the platform to display it. I, okay. didn't, I didn't have the how-to. Mm. How am I going to get myself in front of all these people? So when Instagram gave me that platform, I said, okay, now I got the platform. Yes. The second part is, like you said, the courage yeah. to actually put that content out there and do it. People can be very judgmental, man. Yes, yeah. they, they can. They can be very judgmental. I mean, Ooh, I've, I've haters done don't hate. voices before on the internet, and I may ace some of them, and some of them I may not get so well. Oh, man, Savvy, man, you, you a little off. That don't sound that much like I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm not him. Thank you. I'm not him. <laughs> but if you get the gist of who the guy is, come on, bro. Exactly. But I'm to the point now, like you said, it don't bother me anymore. Right. So, I, like I said, I just wish a long time ago I would have felt this way. That's yeah. so but cool. I do I mean, now. I'm doing. I mean, something that just about comes it. with it. I mean, that comes with talent. You know, in a world that's so talent free, everybody wants to critique talent. Right. You absolutely at right. The, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, and it's right. like it's sort of like if nobody's commenting on you, you're not doing nothing. So just rest, you know, it, you know, enjoy the peace of that. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, yeah. Knowing Definitely. what you bring to the table, you know. Definitely, bro. Definitely. Yeah. That's correct. Now, I have all these questions written down, and I'm going to ask them all. Oh, you go ahead. I'm okay. going to ask them too, as truthful <laughs> as I can. So now, how has the internet allowed you to build your brand, both with Instagram and on outside other outlets? How does how does that work? Because I have no clue how that right. works. Um, Instagram right now is my biggest platform. Okay. Um, I haven't got that Twitter savvy yet or uh, Facebook savvy, uh, but Instagram has been my major platform and. That has been the way that, to help me get my brand out there because it's so widespread. Yes. You put something out there, you use the uh, the proper hashtags, and it goes everywhere. And okay. and you, you find a way to put it out there where it's not boring, to where it's unique. Like if I want somebody to buy something from me, I'm not going to say, 
hey, buy this shirt. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, you, know, you know, if I could take a, a, a Kim Kardashian video and, 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 and sabotage it and market my brand and that's going to get more sales, then that's the way I do it. Right. So that's the way social media has allowed me to get my product out there and, yes. and get it sold and for other people, too. I love it. Man, yeah. I love that. Um, has your brand become profitable yet? No, uh, it, it has not became profitable. I'm right now. I'm, I'm absolutely breaking even in in one department. OK. In one department as far as uh, my uh, T-shirt brand, the Savvy Wear. But we're going to uh, talk about that. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I'm, I'm just breaking even in that right now. We're getting those off. Don't even trip. Oh, oh yeah. 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 That's moving. so cool. Yeah. But I, I asked that question because, you know, like I said, listeners want to know, like, right. when they see someone out there and they have 200,000 followers, right. what yeah, does they think, that they equate to? They think the M's to? are coming in. That's, exactly. That's so what they want to understand. Right. Exactly. And, and you want to know what's so crazy, bro? Um, Yesterday, one of my boys sent me a text message. He said, hey, man, um, Go to Celebrity Net Worth. I swear you could Google it right now. You on there. I, I went to Celebrity Net Worth and I typed in Savvy the Amusing. And one of them said, oh, Savvy the Amusing is extremely rich. Right. And he uses uh, Instagram as his platform to do uh, marketing. Like He basically does promotions for people and he's extremely rich off that. I would like to find the person that wrote that <laughs> and show them my bank account. Okay. Well, you know what, Savvy? When we come back, we're going to talk more about that. Absolutely. I'm Charlene. And I am DJ Bander. And we are on Dash Talk, talk X. X. Hello, everyone. I am DJ Bander with Charlene. You're listening to Lunch with the Finance Bunch. We have the multi-talented Instagram sensation Savvy the Amusing in the building right now. What's good, Savvy? Yeah. Man, in the building. Happy to be in the building, man. Y'all killing me with these. In- y'all spoiling me with these intros, man. We love you. Man, That's why. we got a sleeping bag. I'm not back. leaving, man. I'm moving in with y'all. <laughs> man, I told Savvy, man, I, I've been a fan of Savvy since day one. And, and that says a lot for me because, honestly, I'm not easily impressed. And, um, man, I just I just have so much respect for your talent. One question that I had is, um, you know, when... When you come up with something like these videos with with these with these voiceovers, right? What I respect so much about it is like you know, it's kind of like with me making beats is like it's your own thing, so it's almost like a self trademark, right? You know, when you originally created that, did you think like this is my thing that I'm gonna do? And then at what point did you start expanding? Because what I noticed originally was like you had these. You started originally with the videos of just I, pretty much almost like just sports. Right. Then it started switching into you started expanding into into um, you know rappers and right. actors. Yeah. And then what I realized was that now you've pivoted almost to you do a, a, a variety. You've got these videos. You've got um, you've got these stills where you'll just take like <laughs> two people frozen, like almost yeah. like a snapshot from Sports Center. Right. And um, I was just curious: Do you like have a method to your madness? Do you have a method to how you drop that, or do you just go with like it, with the, your gut? Like, man. okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna rotate this, bro. I'm so all over the place with yeah. this stuff, man. And and I I constantly try to evolve and come up with new unique unique ways to entertain, man. And and um. The sports thing, I, I'm very experimental too. Mm-hmm. The still frame videos that you saw, they were doing good, but they weren't doing great. And I had uh, mostly female followers uh, because I was doing a lot of the reality TV videos. But when I eclipsed to sports, oh my God, man. It, it, it just took things to a whole nother level. But my female following dropped. So I said, okay, bro. Interesting. You have yeah. to have a balance. Yeah. So at that point, I said, you know what? It's not going to be just sports. It's not going to be just reality TV. I'm doing everything now. I'm bringing everybody in. If you're trending, if you're relevant in any way or do something buffoonish and it gets blasted, it's, I'm on it. See, it's so funny. Good. It's so funny you say that because, like, I always be playing your new videos for my girl, right? We, like, we'll be late to bed. I'll be like, oh, Savvy just dropped some new heat. Wave. We got to watch this. Like, shh, 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 baby, listen, listen, listen. And it's funny, like, she don't really follow sports. So your sports one, she don't. She just keeps staying at her phone, right? Right. But yo, them Caitlyn Jenner videos. <laughs> yes. You have her crying <laughs> Kate, off those, bro. Yeah, and me Kate, too, bro. Honestly, the Caitlyn videos. That's why videos, I was so oh tickled. Yes, Caitlyn. Oh Caitlin. my god, bro. You kill it with that. <laughs> like, what a is, female favorite, man? They love Kate. The Kate's one look like you. Just the views on those are cold. Man, bro. they're <laughs> insane. I mean, they, they are. Because the funny thing, about, nobody's taking it there. I think no, that's why, bro. Not, nobody yeah. had the balls to bro, go there with with, with Caitlyn. And, and you and if you look at those videos, 
Notice that I'm not bashing. No. I'm not bashing. No, you're actually flexing her. Right. I'm yeah. for rare. There That's, you go. I'm making yes. her flex her muscle because when 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 uh when she came out as a trans, uh, transgender woman, mm -hmm. I said, you know what? Bruce was just such a nice guy. He was just the nicest person. Yes. I said, I'm going to make Caitlyn as ratchet <laughs> and yes. ghetto as I possibly can. And that's what I have been doing. And people love it. People love it. No. Shout out to Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Yes. And I want that was going to be my question was, you know, how do you balance the female and male audience? Because with like with sports, you don't lose me. I laugh. Right. A lot of times I don't know what you're talking about. Though. Right. But I laugh anyway because it's funny. Right. You know, and I know some of the players, you know, so I laugh because it's funny. Right. But when you do, you know, Caitlin, I am like screaming laughing because oh, it's ladies so funny. Love so Kate. you you balance it by being kind of all over the place. Right. That's oh, okay. that's what I try Got to do. It. I try to I try to give give uh the men something and the women something. Mm -hmm. I want everybody in there, man. And Kate yeah, I'm still doing it. some more of Kate, guys. People miss Caitlyn. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Kate was good. Yeah. So that's why, though, guys, I, I'm, I'm just simply trying to find a balance and uh, pull in viewers from, from every culture, uh, every city, and every every sex. One question I got to ask you is, how did you how did you get uh, Michael Black's attention? Oh, man, this dude. Because, yo, you, <laughs> you know, bro, you literally sound just like that dude, bro. You like, really do. Like, yo, and, like, I, when, I, when he see him commenting, I'm like, I love it, like, because it's like, he almost be, like, it's almost like he'd be, he'd be throwing shade on you, but I know it's all love. Yeah. Like, so did, did he get at you? Like, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, Michael Blackson is responsible for my early uh, popularity. Right. Around the time you saw me when I had 20K, Michael Blackson was one of the first comedians who actually noticed me and was actually tagging me when he reposted my video. Didn't know oh, that. That's cool. Yeah, that dude, he's one of the coolest. Shout out to Michael Blackson. Shout out to the, Michael. One of the coolest people out there, one of the most humble dudes, hmm. uh, non-sensitive. Cool. And uh, yeah, like I said, um, he noticed me from just simply tagging him and hitting him with unique content that he never saw before. And he was so blown away by it, he was reposting and tagging me, and that really helped me get my numbers up. Yeah, that's great. No, I love that. Yes, sir. So, so a lot of people want to know, like, you know, our followers are, you know, some of them are like asp aspiring Instagram people. Right. You know, we got yes. a lot of these people who are trying to get their numbers up, just like mm -hmm. you've done. Right. Trying to get a brand for themselves. And, you know, what would you say is, you know, you, you mentioned before the break that, you haven't become profitable yet. But right. you have mentioned that you're breaking even, which means you are making some money. Right. right. And I think what's important for people to understand and what people really want to kind of get their hands around is like, how did you transition from that? Like, how did you figure that out? How did you go from, okay, I'm just getting views to like, okay, I'm going to at least get some monetization. Did you approach advertisers? Did advertisers approach you? No, they definitely come to me. They're coming they to come you. Yeah, they definitely come to me. Um, Slot in the DMs. You yeah, they, they, they're in the DMs or the, or the, the business email. Right. See, what it is is advertising has became a monster business. Yes. Yeah. You know, a monster business. And when people see that you have uh, the numbers, and it's not even necessarily the numbers because there's ways to actually manipulate that. When they see engagement and That's people it. are Comments. loving what you do, mm -hmm. they say, you know what? I got to get my product in front of this guy. I have to do it. And what I offer people is I offer them a unique way to display their product because people don't like to see advertisement. Oh, it's just good. No, they don't. They don't like, they hate no, it. No, because you don't want to be sold. Yeah, you. if, you you, if you're entertained. on my account to laugh, that's what you want to do. Right. So what I do is I blend it in, in. so yes, perfectly. You do. Bro, you do. Bro, you're they're right. still <laughs> laughing and they're still yeah. hearing about this guy's product at yeah. the same time. That's what's so crazy is yeah. like when I see how you operate, I almost was like, man, this dude, oh, you would think you've got a master's in marketing, bro. Exactly. Because you think like so many people wouldn't think that. I mean, like how you threw like, I think first when you started advertising, I remember the first ad you were doing was I think Moon Rocks. Yeah. And like, yeah. bro, you literally, it would almost be like the laughing from your video would just, it would almost make it funnier. Yeah. It would make it funnier that you would then be doing some goofy ass thing for Moon Rock. Right. And it was like, man, this dude is a beast. I'm right. Like, man. Because that's the thing about it with me, man. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not even a weed guy. I'm just not. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing about it is I didn't even want that sort of image. Okay. Because I have so many athletes and actors. Right. Not that, everybody's with that. Right. Yeah. 
But I said, hey, man, if I could find a way to make this funny, I'll do it. Mm. I'm not just going to be putting all these nugs and chronic leaps on my page. But right. if you allow me to put my own twist Your on it, I'll do it. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, That's sir. so, so cool. That is so cool. So take notes, everybody. You heard yes. it. My yes. Man. Be seamless. Exactly. Like Savvy. My man. Because <laughs> Savvy is definitely <laughs> seamless. <laughs> yeah, if you ain't seamless, you ain't getting the bag. So No, sir. That's it. Not for too long, at least. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Now, now, I have a question. <laughs> All right, shoot. Okay, so can you give us like three elements that make your social media successful? Like just three, oh, three elements so that the mm -hmm. listeners, because when we finish with this, we all going to be Instagram kings and queens because of you. Dope, dope. Well, I don't have uh, all the answers. I do I do a lot of, uh, you know, YouTubing and trying to actually figure it out. But one thing I noticed that worked for me, for one, be creative as possible. Yeah. Okay. Whatever craft you are in, I don't care if, if you do hair, if you sell cupcakes, whatever it is, be as unique and as different as possible. Everybody's yeah. doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. I love that. Uh, try to be unique. The second thing is take the time to engage with people. Mm. Talk back. Don't just let people say, hey, man, you're dope. I love this. And you just ignore them. I know you can't reply to everybody. Cause I can't. I noticed that you comment to you comment to a yeah, lot of you people. Yeah, talk bro. to people. Let people know you're human. You're not a robot. Right. You know, I, take the time. I, I like that. Reply back to people. People see that you're engaging with them. They'll be they'll intrigued engage. to buy from you or help you. Yes. Ooh. And um, number three, you have to try to do the best you can to catch the attention of people that's in your field that's doing a little bit better than you. That's a little bit more elite than you. Like when I was doing comedy, I said, "Okay, that's a good point. I yes. can't, I can't do it myself, but I know I'm talented. I have to catch the attention of somebody that's bigger than me, like Michael Blackson. Let me right. tag this guy, and it worked. So they'll pull you up. Let me catch the attention yeah. of, of Snoop Dogg. He seems yeah. like a down to earth guy. Start tagging him, tagging him, bam, and it worked. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's the type of stuff you have to do. You have to be unique. You have to actually take the time to socialize with people. Let them know you're a human being." And you have to try to catch the attention of somebody that's more elite than you that's willing to help you. In my opinion, I mean, at least that's what helped me. And I think it's so amazing because I got to say, like, we have, we've we touched on a lot of the voices that you do. Right. But one of the one that, let's be clear, your most iconic, what I think you're now globally famous for is LeBron James. LeBron James, that's the one. Yes. Because that's I'm the LeBron guy. James. And I got to say, man, I was, you know, I'm one of these people like when I like when I support somebody like I just love to see them shine, bro. And when I saw you shine when they were talking about you on ESPN about that, man. I was like, "Yes, bro, because it's like you deserve it, bro. Like you deserve that shine." And I was just wondering like, has LeBron seen your videos? Have you got oh, any love from LeBron? You, you want to know what's crazy? Uh the Laker, the Laker uh the Laker reporter Mike Trudell. Mm -hmm. Uh I talked to him uh here and there. And I asked him because he he told me before he said, okay, man, me and Lonzo, we we go back and forth saying your quotes all the time in the locker room. Lonzo hustle. You know, Lonzo hustle. <laughs> <laughs> that Lonzo hustle. So goes. I asked him, Vander, I asked him, I said, hey, bro, has LeBron James ever seen my uh, videos? And Mike said, well, I don't know, man. Um, He said, I don't know if he's too much engaged as at this time with social media. Mm. So I don't know how to answer that. But I can tell you this. Uh, one of his good friends, Maverick Carter, mm. he followed me about a month ago on Instagram. So if you make me guess, I mean, because my my friends send me stuff all the time, goofy stuff all the time. So if you make me guess, I'm pretty sure Mav didn't pull his coattail a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, man, check this guy out. So if you make me guess, I'd probably say yes, but I don't know the exact answer to that. What was the inspiration behind that? Because I feel like it's like it's so brilliant because you almost emphasize you you kind of you paint him obviously as the goat right but then you paint him also as a bit of an egomaniac oh got to big time and it was yeah. like what was that were you a fan of lebron are you like or do you think that he's a lot i mean just what's the background on that bro i was um and still is a a major a kobe bryant fan that was okay. my guy okay. Shout kobe, out to kobe kobe's my guy but the media the media just circles around LeBron James so much. Right. And I've always liked LeBron. Like, a lot of Laker fans don't like James, but James has never done anything wrong. Mm. It was the fans that pinned him against Kobe Bryant. But when when he re when uh, Kobe retired, I beamed in totally on LeBron James because, like you said, the media was after him, so I went after him too. Right. And like you said, I started making him this egotistic, 
greatest of all time type player, and I made him just display it every single time and just put the padding on it. I'm LeBron James. Yeah. <laughs> Got to put that on there, and man. And it's brilliant to be able to do something that, like, it just never gets tired, bro. And what's so, what I love about, the, you know, what your craft is that it never gets tired because, like, as life moves forward and events move forward, there's always new material. Always. It's like, how could you get burnt? Because there's always some new crazy thing, some always, crazy video bro. where a dude says some more crazy stuff. And always. I think I think that's super, super, super interesting. And that's why know? I chose that, bro, because... Um, even even if you were ever a kid or a teenager and your mom told you to go to trade school or your dad tells you to go to trade school, one of the good advices that they'll tell you is try to find a career that ain't going nowhere. Exactly. Find something that's going to be around forever, not something that's going to expire or a robot eventually is going to take it over. Mm. So it's just like you said, Bander, this stuff ain't going nowhere, bro. No, there's always going to be athletes. There's always right. going to be drama. If, if that wasn't the case, reporters would be uh, out of work. Critics would be out of work. That's okay, so true. a lot of people want to know, because I know a lot of people listening are fans of Savvy. What's a day in the life of Savvy look like? Oh, man, like a, a real life day? A real life a real day. day. Oh, a man. hard day, man. Y'all want me to tell the truth? For or? real. <laughs> of course, man. We all about the real over here. This is New York is in the building. You know I, what's going on. Yeah, man, man. I still look, man. I, I still live in the hood, man. I still live there. And, and I, I live around a bunch of... A lot of those people are old gang members over the age of 60. Right. They're still gang banging. Wow. <laughs> so, so you know, I, I have to deal with, with that. Um, I have a three-year-old that's running all over the place uh, once I get home. So that 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 could be challenging. Yes, we see the video. Cool. I've seen, uh, we see this. We see the stories in the bedroom cleaning up the toys. I think that's incredible. Man, that gives you a taste God. of your life. Man, you wake up in the morning, man. You got a, a Hello Kitty under your arm and... You got to listen to Baby Shark all day long, man. And so, um, and other than that, um, my life is pretty chill, though, man. I'm not, I'm not a person that's always at the club or yeah. drinking and smoking all day. I go home, I buy me a Blu-ray DVD, I'll pop it in, I'll watch Netflix, and I just stick to the craft, man. I, I eat, love it. sleep, comedy, and just trying to find a way to where I could do this full time every day because I love it, man. Yeah, that's great. Absolutely, that's love what's it. Up. It really shows in your work, too, that you love it. Oh, I appreciate definitely, that. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, when you when I think about what you do, you've taken the art of comedy right. and social media, and you've blended them, and you've made yourself, like, this whole unique... You, you've almost positioned yourself where you are the one. Right. Because when DJ Banda told me about you, it was when he first started working with me, and he was like, yo... There's one person I want to have on. If nobody else, it's Savvy. We got to get yeah, Savvy. Yo, and I was man. like, okay, yeah, okay, bro. I was like, I'm getting Savvy on this show, man. Yes. Like, I, like, I don't know. And and I we, we were like cool at that point, but I knew like you were getting, I think it was like the big, your first like big wave of getting big on Insta. Right. So you were being like, yo, bro, my bad. Like my DMs is just like, I don't even see your DMs right yeah, now. Yeah, like, man. And I don't, I, I, you know what? I flagged you, bro. So I could see you. Oh, okay. Now when That's you love, hit me bro. up, there's a big orange flag says Bander. I won't miss it no more. My bro. G, man. <laughs> That's what's up. I appreciate Gotta that. Gotta give you my number too when your phone come back on, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hopefully put, that's going to happen today, bro. In here, bro. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Get it in there, man. You already know, man. Did I miss your question? No, no. Oh, did I answer it? it? Oh, no, yeah, yo, you're doing it. We just want yeah, to just get wanted... a sense of what your, of what your day is. Oh, exactly. And a, and, a, and a sense of like, you know, how you've grown to where you are today, you know? Oh, yeah. Um. Well, like I said, Instagram has been my my main uh, platform, and, and and one one reason I like it because I've well at least thus far I've been able to cut out the middleman. Mm. Yes. You're gonna run into so many of these guys when you're trying to cut in this industry. It's gonna be somebody to come along like, hey man, uh, I'm a big friend with this guy, I'm a big friend with this guy. Okay, Instagram has made it to where I could display my talent and I don't have to go through anybody else. That's right. That's they up. come directly to me. And that's what I like about it. And it and it makes it makes it to where you could put out content widespread. You don't have to go through A and R's if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. uh, managers are great, but you don't have to have one. You know, and that that's one way that I'm able to get my content out there and get my comedy out there. And I just I just thank God for Instagram. I wish they'd go ahead and verify me though. I've been trying to get verified for a minute. Yeah, man. They'd be holding, they'd be real stuff. I don't with know the what it is with down. that, dude. I mean, come on, IG. I'm putting in work out there. Yeah, no, nah, they it's crazy how they be doing it now. The algorithms are crazy. But I love them for what they what they were able to let me display and, and it's really helped my career uh grow to levels that I that I never thought would be reachable. So uh shout out to Instagram for that. 
That's cool. Now, when we come back, we're going to have to take a, a, a short station break. But when we come back, we want to answer some questions for our listeners. Can we Dope. do that? Absolutely. I'm ready. All right. This is Charlene. And I'm DJ Bander. And we're on Dash Talk X. And of course, this is Lunch with the Finance Bunch. We'll be right back. And we're back in the studio with our guest, Savvy the Amusing. And hey. we have been talking about everything. He's been dropping so many platinum nuggets, not golden platinum golden nuggets jewels. right yeah, yeah. platinum yes so and we want to continue it we have some listeners that have some questions for you and i want to make sure we get those um, um taken care of first so the first question was what are some tips you can give a person who wants to take their talent to the next level okay um take advantage um of of social media take mm. advantage mm -hmm. of facebook uh youtube Twitter, because that is that is the way, you know, you can get your brand out there and don't expect anything to happen fast. Yes, uh, okay. it's, it's not going to happen fast. You have to be consistent, diligent, um, do your homework too. listen, listen to uh, tutorials over YouTube. People are giving out tips and advice, but just stick to your craft. Try to be unique as possible and uh, just don't get discouraged. Just keep pushing because there are organic ways to uh, be very successful via social media. Nice. Thank you for that. I love it. Absolutely. Yeah. Another another big question we had is, and uh, I love this one because it's it's something that I always was curious about with you. Who are some of your biggest role models in comedy? Um, one of my biggest role models in comedy, I would have to say uh, Martin Lawrence. Mm -hmm. uh, Martin Lawrence was, was one of the funniest dudes uh, to me when I was a kid and still to this day. Yes. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, Bernie Mac was another one. Uh, Bernie, yeah. Uh, rest in peace. Robin Harris mm. was another one. And um, I also liked, um, what's the guy's name? I, I always have his name on the tip of my tongue. Uh, he, he played um, Robin Williams. Oh, Robin of course. Williams. That Robin. dude was one of the funniest yes. guys one ever. One of the goats, for sure. Love Robin Williams. So those, those were a, a few, if you make me throw them out there. Mm -hmm. Those guys, definitely. That's cool. What made you start adding parody sports and music news clips to your music news clips? What made you do that? Okay. Um, I noticed the attention that I experiment with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And when I start, when I start putting, putting that uh, out there, like the, the, the sports and uh, what was the, what the, would you say? The music? Uh -huh. Yeah. When I start putting that out there, I'm, I'm a big guy on reaction and the reaction was so positive and there was such a crave for more of it. Yeah. I just continued to put it out there and I haven't looked back. Cool. Yeah, I think people really need to laugh in life. They do. I feel bro. especially with the times that we're in these days, it's like a thirst for comedy right now. They and I do, think that man. you bring like a like I mean, I know in my own life, like it's like if you're bummed about something, you're stressed out, man, new savvy videos definitely go uplift yeah, the man. mood. And, you know and what that I'm and that makes that makes me feel dope too, man, because I mean a lot of the times you think that you're doing things and people are just laughing, but so many people have hit me up and say, "Look, man, I was having a difficult day, or I got yeah, fired, or I my bet. mom is sick." And I go to your account, and uh, if you just make me laugh for one minute, man, it made me feel better. So that's dope, just to know that I'm reaching people in that form. You know, that is so, 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 and cool. that they watch it again and again, right? And I gotta say, that's part of your genius is like. You know, it's like a good, it's like when you have that song that's timeless, like you could just drive their whole way to work and loop that song. Yeah. Right. You know you're on to something when like a video doesn't get tired. I mean, the, some of like the Caitlyn videos and some, <laughs> some of the some, certain ones of LeBron videos were like, I've literally had to be like, okay, you're like, you're, you've watched it like t 10 times, like <laughs> give it a rest. But at the same, but at My the same man. time, like, you know, you know, one of the questions that we had, and I think this is something that everybody is wondering about, and I know I deal with it. Anybody who's got some popularity, some, yes. some social media following is, let's talk a little bit about the haters. The naysayers. Oh, yeah. I know you You mentioned, oh, you know, God. you hit me one time in the DMs being like, man, I just wish that mm -hmm. all of my 200 plus thousand people supported me the way you do. And yeah. I really felt that. Like, I really, I felt that in my heart on some real talk because, yeah. because I think, you know, people, this is something deep, is that I think people really look at people who have a celebrity following and think that they, there's people feel an entitlement to your response, like an entitlement right. to your to your appeasement. Right. And, right. I, and I was just wondering, you know, for you, when did that start and how have you dealt with it? Mm. Um, early on, I didn't have that I didn't have that many uh trolls and haters. It yeah. was all it was all good. Mm -hmm. 
But when I started to, like you say, get into the 200,000s and up, I started noticing a small percentage mm -hmm. of those haters coming in. Now, the block yeah. button has been my friend, you know, because I don't oh, yes. I, I don't like too much negative energy in my world. I don't I don't like I'm not the guy that likes to reply back and argue with people. Yeah, that's good. You that know, but they, they do come and, and most of them have came with bitterness from sports. You know, they have some insane sports hmm. fans. That's out there. true. And I oh, try not to discriminate. I talk about everybody and everybody's team. But right? there's been some people like. Hey man, you ever come to Dallas, man? I got something for you. Wow! I, I'll catch you outside. Don't you talk about my Cowboys? You know, so I mean, <laughs> like, there's some that crazy serious? people out there, but I, I just block them. I just yeah. block them. Yeah, you got to just block them out. And I think that's something that you know, you know, is is something that you know you. It's great that you keep that positive attitude because. Man, I mean, it's something you hear about even the top dudes, whether it be like the Drakes right. or the, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, the Nas's, all these, all the big dudes, man, they rap about this stuff all the time. They rap about, this is another quick question like that I, that I kind of expanding on that is how is your own family and friends reacted to your fame and success? Cause I, cause I, I noticed that like, I got to change as I started getting my numbers up too. And I'm just wondering like, have you, have you felt have you like felt people, that? people a little you, weird with you now? Yeah, man. Um, Most, most of the time people will, they want a lot of stuff for free, bro. And that's oh, what the yeah. problem is. Um, well, uh, early off- They were reading that celebrity net worth page. That, yes. There you go. They're on that like, net worth bro, page. Like, he's rich, that give dude, me mine. This dude <laughs> hide millions in a 91 <laughs> Honda. Yeah, really. Okay. But uh, yeah, uh, you have to shake certain people, whether it be blood or whether it be family, man, because too many people want you to do things for free. Like, hey, man, I got this jacket. Can you, can you put it on your account? I'm trying to sell it. Uh, can you- Post my eBay page. I'm trying to sell a couple of. Yeah, I bet. I'm like, come on, bro. I can't I do that, man. Like, yeah. I've, I've became a little miniature business here. I can't just do yes. that. Yeah. yeah. No, I can so. see that. I can, and I can see people like probably having a little bit of a resentment. Oh, definitely. You know, towards, you know, shine off originality, you know, because so many people struggle to find their direction and, you know, you've mastered an identity. Oh, I, I get that all the time, man, because one thing that I noticed. You will never, ever in your life be the first one to do anything. Mm. So, so many people come to my account like, oh, man, you're copying off of this dude, Savvy, or you're copying off of that guy. Nah, bro, I'm not copying <laughs> off anybody. And and I try to, like I said, we're all in the same craft here, right. but I'm just trying to be unique. A burger from Burger King tastes different than a burger from Jack in the Box. Right, they didn't steal right. burgers. There you they go. Steal you, know, a burger. Mac, you don't see McDonald's running a Burger King. You stole my burger. You know? <laughs> But yeah, I just try to be unique, bro. That's good, man. That is so cool. You know, so you did answer my question then for my listener, which was, you know, how do you deal with the hate? You block them. Oh yeah, that's how you, you gotta deal block with them. It. Because just block them. <laughs> we're we're in an era we're in an era now, and and I, you you guys all know this. Yes. If you have a small trickle of popularity that can potentially be a big one one day. Mm. You gotta watch what you say. That's right. You, Yo, you that's got so to real. watch your that is mouth. So real. You can say something to somebody and, and they'll screenshot you. it and you may never know. And you end up blowing up to that. and all of a sudden all the media, oh, Savvy the Amusing call some guy a punk mother. Yeah, mm -hmm. yo. And it's like, uh-oh, now yes. my career is over because this guy got me out of character. So that's why that block that's button. True. Thank God for the block button. I don't Thank argue God with him. I get rid of him. Wow. So you heard it first. You heard that's it from, right. from the Mr. Golden. Savvy the Amusing. Take that advice, guys. Exactly. Watch your mouth out here. Ooh. Keep Watch your mouth shut. That's Watch your mouth. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, Don't let people um, push you into emotion. Don't like, do it. That's what they try to do. They try to push you into a meltdown. Yeah. I think that so blocking is just, the best advice because honestly, yeah. it doesn't take much for people to get you out of character. Oh, and can. I found that too. I've ended up, you know, I've gotten into beefs. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when I made a comment on World Star. And people peep that people got to follow and they get into it, you know, yeah. and yeah. it just doesn't get you anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like it ends up, it ends up getting, it can spiral so quick. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's just better to be shut it down, but Definitely. we appreciate that. Yes. Thank you so much. Now, when we come back, we want to talk about the world of savvy, everything savvy in this next segment. How's that? Dope. Okay. Let's, Let's get, get it. it. I'm Charlene. And I am DJ Bander. And we'll be right back. We've been interviewing the amazing Savvy the Amusing. Gotta say I'm a big fan, amazing. brother. Amazing. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate that. And we're so appreciative you came by today. You've been dropping a lot of gems on the game oh, today. Man, we're loving it. And um, you know, I wanna say first of all, congratulations. I see you got your own show now on oh, Dash. Thanks, Dude. man. Thank You're part you. of the Dash family. Funny don't stop show. Funny, Funny don't, don't stop, stop. show. <laughs> Funny don't stop. Who came hey. up with that little lick there? Comedian Alex Thomas. Okay. He came up with that. That's cool. 
Cool. It is clever, it is bro. He's a hilarious guy, man. Yeah, no, I like that. And um, basically, the concept tells tells a couple thing about the show. Like, what's the what's the basis of that? You guys are kind of working together. Yeah, well, uh, comedian Alex Thomas. If you guys are not familiar with him, he's the same guy that played in uh, Players Club with Ice Cube. Oh, okay. uh, he played in uh, Don't Be a Menace uh, while drinking your juice in the hood with the Wayne Brothers. Yes, and. Um, I did one of his shows uh, at the Ha Ha when he had the Funny Don't Stop Tuesdays at the Ha Ha. And uh, he told me that he was putting together this team for a radio show that was going to be at Dash Radio. And he chose me to be one of his co-hosts. I love it. Nice. Along with a young lady, uh, Dara, uh, along with a smart guy named Sed, okay. and uh, uh, DJ, DJ Dano on the ones and twos. Very nice. And it's uh, every Tuesday, every Tuesday at uh, 8. Okay. To 9.30. Ah, All nice. right. Well, we're going to be tuning into that. Absolutely. But, but before we go, we want to just make sure that our listeners, I mean, they probably know you, but if they don't know you, where do they find you? And what are some things you're working on right now you want them to know know about? Like, yeah. your, like your clothing brand. I really yeah. want to know about that. Definitely, guys. Uh, uh, if you, you probably came across my videos one time or another out yes. there. But if you don't know where to find me, my main, my main way to get a hold of me is Instagram at Savvy underscore amusing you can find me on instagram under that the same name applies for twitter savvy amusing same for facebook savvy amusing same with uh, uh youtube savvy amusing on youtube just type in s-a-v-v-y and i'm pretty sure i'll be the first face you see that pops up on and all subscribe, those networks. people follow and subscribe, subscribe to guys. Man. he it, deserves those follows man You'll be laughing. You sure yeah. will. And if you ain't if you ain't laughing, you, you will be after you watch. You better watch. work on your sense of humor. Work on something wrong. Yeah, something wrong, man. Straight up. You too tough. <laughs> <laughs> and as far as my clothing brand, which yes. is which is up and coming, uh, it's called uh, Savvy Wear. I actually have an account uh, that my VP runs on Instagram called uh, Savvy underscore wear clothing. Okay, I got to find on that. Instagram, oh. and it, it. it has a link on there to where all you have to do is tap on it. Choose your size of the apparel and uh, support your boy. I got them on sale right now for fourteen ninety nine. It was thirty bucks, so get it while they on sale, people. Yeah, I love, love it, it too, and I love the animation graphic on it too. It's super clean. It's very representative, man. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that, yeah, bro. bro. That's what's wow. up. Well, well yeah, we we appreciate everybody tuning in. We and, really uh, do, and savvy. We are so happy that you dropped by. And so, if you had fun with us, you'll me. have to come back. Oh, I'm glad y'all had me, uh, guys. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to shout shout you guys out. We appreciate it. Um, I, I appreciate you guys having me on the show. You could have had anybody else, but you had me, guys, and I appreciate it. Well, you were on our guest wish list, so you know what I'm saying? Santa came early. You know, he sure My did. man. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad he did. I didn't get nothing for Christmas, Santa, so I appreciate this. Absolutely. We want to <laughs> let, let everybody know. Um, we thank you for tuning into The Finance Bunch. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, at The Finance Bunch. I'm DJ Bander, at DJ Bander. You can also check us out on YouTube. That's right. Get at us on that YouTube. Facebook. Facebook too. We're everywhere. I mean, we just global, girl. We you are just global. Do this. Global. And growing more. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. That's what's good. And you already know, stay tuned. We're always on Tuesdays at noon Tuesdays on Dash at Talk noon. X. Dash Talk X. And we'll see you soon. See ya. We out. Thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to find us on Instagram at The Finance Bunch. And listen to us every Tuesday on Dash Talk X.